Hello friends, welcome to Magento Tutorials. In this video, we will discuss about card price rules. In the previous video, we have discussed about catalog price rules and this is the continuation of that. Now we are going to see the card price rule. Card price rule will help you in different situations like promotions. If you want your customers to enter coupon code at card and check out and get discounts, use this card price rule or else if you want to give free shipping or uh, if you want to give some discounts based on car total or grand total or category or product wise you can use this car price rule use this in an effective way so that your website revenue will get drastic change also you can send coupons to customers directly through an email and they can check the coupons from email and apply in your site at the cart or checkout pages okay now Let's get into the topic. To create a cart rule, log into admin, click on this marketing, click here cart price rules. Ah, so this is the cart price rule section. Here you will find different uh, options based on different conditions and situations. Uh, cart price rules were created. Okay, the first one, just click on this one. So this promotion is created if customer buy three t-shirts and get fourth one free. That means if he buy some items, he will get another item as free item. So you can put the rule name that relates to this card rule. You can add some description. Check this to yes. Website to main website. Right now I just only one website so it's just selected one. You can select the customer groups here. So here in the coupon section, we have two options, no coupon and specific coupon. Uh, right now, just uh, select this no coupon. Based on this no coupon, you, you don't need to uh, enter manually. So when you go to the cart page or checkout, uh, this rule will be automatically applied. Okay, uses per customer. In your website, you have uh, one customer that uh, wants to use this coupon multiple times. So you can increase this value, how many times the customer can use this coupon. Okay. So you know this from and uh, to, these are two dates in between the dates, uh, this card price rule will apply. After that, this rule will be expired. If you change this value to the maximum number when compared to other coupons. So this will be the final uh, card rule that will be applied at the card checkout. So first check this if all of these conditions are true. You can select this one or change. You can change this value. So all, any, these two options available after if, okay. And I will discuss this one. And uh, here you will find true or false, okay. You can select any of these. So you can add uh, any subtotal condition, any category condition or uh, product attributes condition. You can add it here, okay. So if you want to set another condition, just add this one. For example, if the quantity in the card is uh, something like, so you can select uh, is also. So there are uh, multiple options here. So based on your requirement, you can change it here. Okay. Right now, if quantity in the card is uh, greater than, for example, 10. So if the quantity in the card is greater than 10, then only this card rule will apply. It will first check uh, the product you added to the cart is under this category or not. So either 25 or 16, any of the category, this product should be under that. If it is true, then it will go to this quantity in cart section. So if the quantity in cart is greater than 10, then these two conditions are met. Then only this cart rule will be applied. So like this, you can add any number of conditions here. Okay. So after your conditions added, you go to this action step so you will find different options okay so if you select this one buy x get y free uh, for example if customer want uh, want to buy three shirts and you want to give another one as a free so this is one of the best strategy that you can give to the customers like this you want to set you have to select this in the apply section buy x get y free that means whatever the X items he want to purchase, then the next item we can give as a discount. 
so what is this mean it is it is just simple as that uh, if he purchase three items we are giving the fourth one as a free like one quantity we are giving free okay now we are just uh, apply to shipping amount setting to no if we have multiple coupons that are already applied uh, to this product then if we want to skip that remaining uh, coupons and apply only this coupon so you can skip this remaining coupons uh, for that you have to select this three yes right now i am not selecting anything uh, for example if you want to give the free shipping or something you can select it here we can discuss that in the next item right now we are uh, using this no coupon that means no coupon is uh, required to enter manually by the customer it will auto apply it uh, at the cart or checkout pages this is one of the strategy now go back you see here if customer wants to spend uh, 50 dollars or more and he wants to get the free shipping that means if the cart price is more than 50 dollars then we will give some discount so for that just uh, as usual create rule name description uh, active website customer groups these are all common so coupon to no coupon uses um, how how many number of uh, times he can use that same coupon okay uh, leave this as it is okay coming to this condition you see subtotals equals are greater than 50 that means this is the subtotal if subtotal is greater than 50 he will get the free shipping you can change this condition okay just click on it so subtotal is 50 that means it's exactly equals to the 50 no i just want uh, either equals or greater than 50 that means uh, if he can add 50 dollars he will get free shipping or more than uh, 50 dollars he will get the free shipping so that uh, we can use this equals or greater than if you want to change it just uh, play around with this so now coming to this action tab just check this percentage of uh, product price discount previously we added uh, buy x get fry right right now i just want to create one uh, free shipping coupon based on some price okay for that uh, you select this percentage of product price discount so discount amount is zero that means we are not uh, giving any discount to the customer just we are enabling the free shipping so that uh, the shipping will be free if uh, order total is 50 dollars okay now just uh, leave as it is here you see if you want to give the free shipping we are just applying to for matching items only that means uh, it will apply to these items which are matched so subtotal is 110 dollars that is greater than or equals to 50 so this condition met go to conditions you see here subtotal equals are greater than 50 so that's why i'm getting some uh, zero shipping charges right here you can see that uh, the free shipping is applied or not you will get this shipping amount as zero that means free shipping is applied you don't need to enter the coupon code so coupon code so this means the customer need to enter manually and uh, click on this apply discount then only the coupon will apply okay right now i'm just uh, selecting this no coupon so customer no need to enter the coupon when the card page or uh, checkout page loaded you will get some discount okay so the free shipping is also created now you see here the third one you will give 20 percent discount if he purchases more than 200 dollars okay so the same thing which we created previously rule name description active website customer groups these are all common uh, priority also leave that one just uh, go to this condition you see here subtotal equals are greater than 200 then we will give some discount where you will give the discount in the action step right you see here apply so percentage of product price discount so how much discount you will give i'm just giving that 20 percent of this subtotal okay so whatever the subtotal i have based on that price i will give this uh, this much discount okay right now leave as it is uh, click this to discard subsequent rules here you see apply the rule only to cart items matching the following conditions that means this rule will apply you have to add these conditions okay for example if the category i don't know the category or any other attributes i'll just use this q or something okay 
correct product attribute skew in the catalog price rule we have selected right like that uh, you can select here so you can select this ease also okay so it will exactly match this item so if you have multiple items you can select this contents okay okay you see here if all of these conditions are false like that it is set by default what you have to change if all of these items are true that means if SKU is this one then this cart rule will apply just save and continue so if my subtotal is 200 then I will get 20% discount ok refresh this card so my subtotal is how much? 220 dollars that is greater than 200 dollars why it is not applied greater than zero now see here the discount is applied as 44 dollars that means 20 percent of 220 that is 44 dollars is added as a discount okay so this way you can give uh, some discount based on the price I'll go back to down this last one now you see here for example if uh, you want to give the discounts based on uh, uh, some SKU or something uh, previously which we have created for the same uh, okay okay put it to ease so you will continue okay the rule is saved now do the in index again Match your flush. These are the bottom comments. Refresh this page. Now copy this coupon code. So the customer should enter this coupon code. In that way, he can utilize this card rule. Otherwise, the card rule will not be applied. Okay, just copy this one. You see in the card page, uh, apply discount code section. Here, just enter that one. Apply the discount. You see, used coupon code H20. That means this is the coupon code. Okay. So it is applied. You can check in the summary section. So here, you see, $154 added as a discount. That means this coupon will give you the discount uh, of 70%. That means 70% of 220 it's like 154 dollars okay this way you can add uh, different types of discounts so this way you can add multiple uh, coupons based on these card price rules okay these are the multiple scenarios if you want to try it you can uh, utilize more options which are available okay thanks for watching in the next video we will continue the remaining things